How's it going YouTube? It's Panda time. In this video we have Machine Dramon with EX3 editions going up against Fallen Angels. The Guard Dramon is kind of nice. We're going to go into it early on here. I know that a lot of people, they prefer uh, Machine Dramon decks that are not black based. But I like the black based because I like the Guard Dramon quite a bit. It's a really solid Digivolution. And if you can use the Inheritable, it's actually so strong. We're going to Digivolve into a Metal Tyranno, who's going to let us either pick up a Machine Dramon or hopefully fuel our trash with Cyborgs, uh, which in this case, it is good enough. If the Metal Tyranmon survives, then we get some great value from the Gardramon Inheritable. Bush is going to swing. Diet Security does give us a little, another 5 to work with. Hard up in a Padamon means that she's struggling. But we're going to get to see the Gardramon Inheritable. It survives, which is good. You see, you're going to see just how much we can get out of a single Gardramon and why I do like the Black Base. And then we're going to set up the Kasu, another addition to the deck that I really like. Uh, the more that I play with it, the more that I thought that it was correct for the build. If you guys haven't tried it, I do recommend it. I'm going to swing into Ichikurimon. The Padamon doesn't die. <laughs> but Metal Terramon is still alive. We're going to get extra memory from the Kasu. And now when we swing, we can essentially cycle through so many cards between the Gardramon and the Kasu. It's pretty pretty nice, I would say. Just going to go Gato in the back for safety, which makes sense. We're still just trying to find our pieces. Hit into a Mako, which is less than ideal. But we're trying to see, you know, just how early we can get that Machine Dramon going. And it's early enough. Now, at this point, our trash is filled up because we've done a good job cycling, mainly through the Gardramon in Herbal. Now, with this play, we are going to be giving over quite a bit of memory. That said, though, the Machine Dramon is very tough to deal with. And, you know, the whole point of the deck is to make a Machine Dramon. And in this case, we're now trying to spam as many as possible. Sometimes people can answer one Machine Dramon, but it's very tough to be able to deal with multiple Machine Dramons. So she does have memory to work with. Memory boots got him on in the back. Our board, I'd say, is still pretty scary. Gonna promote, potentially try and go into a level 6. Get the Andrew Mon effect for Secret Attack Minus, which is pretty good. Angel 1x for secret attack minus again and some recovery. So Angel deck still doing pretty solid plays. Get into spam that recovery. Can then opt to go into a level 6. Like the Afanimon, who could then delete the Chikurimon and then recover once again. I'd say pretty good plays, right? Goodbye, connection. Pagumon sometimes be whiffing. Uh, that said though, we are gonna get extra memory from our Kasu, which is kinda nice. And although we have Secure Attack Minus, we can still swing and proc our Inheritables. And the Machine Dramon does have the Metal Greymon to let us attack on Suspended, which is kind of nice. We're going to get our draw and discard. Again, using the Guard Dramon effect and the Kasu to just cycle through so many cards. There's the Chaos Dramon. Going to let us get extra sources. Uh, it gets a bit complicated because you end up with a Digimon with just so many sources. So watch as I mess up the stack. Uh, but this is going to let us de digible the Afanimon. Then we're going to be able to attack the Gatamon. And with this case, we don't have to deal with the Afanamon annoying on deletion effect. Uh, Kejimon is still very, very strong. He still has the protection the Machine Dramon has. Except he can also protect itself from being bounced or bottom decked, I think. Uh, but he can't save himself against DP reduction. Uh, he is a great addition to the deck, though. I think it makes the Machine Dramon way better for sure. We're there, we're, we are then going to just set up a memory boost just to, you know, find more pieces, potentially another Machine Dramon. Make sure we have memory to work with. Uh, but at this point, we have two very, very strong stacks. One way that the Angels can answer this is with the Chaos Regression. Uh, that said, it is such an expensive card that it's just going to give us so much memory to work with. So while it does answer the Chaos Dramon, uh, I think we're okay with this. We also get to get our sources back into the trash. We're once again getting extra memory from the Kasu. We can keep swinging with the Metal Tyranno. And again, just we get to cycle so much that you get to see so much of your deck. Uh, and it's really strong because not only does it let you, you know, set up your cyborgs for the Machine Dramon, but it also lets you draw to your Machine Dramon, which your deck is very reliant on. 
Gonna be playing another Machine Ramon. At this point our trash is pretty filled, we can take pretty much any sort of inheritables that we would like. Looks like we want Blocker, Secure Attack Plus, DP on her turn, Attack on Suspended, why not? It'd be just a little bit of everything. At this point Machine Ramon also has enough 5s to choose from that you just get so many variety of effects. We are then going to set the little tie to Memory Choke because I think we don't have Reboot but we can use the little tie to restand ourselves so still pretty good. I still like the little tie as a tamer, although the Kasu definitely is the way to go. Uh, so not a lot to work with, 4 Angels here. She's going to set up a reinforced memory boost to I think just have enough memory to make a play next turn which is pretty respectable. We get again quite a bit of memory to work with, Akasu putting in work. We still have a ton of cycle as well. We have connection on top of that for even more cycle and memory gain. And at this point we've seen through so much of our deck. Machine was going to be swinging at security. Uh, you know even if he died he could save itself. It's going to be two checks. And we can use the memory boost to go to 8, play attack of the hit machine Digimon. So I don't play 4 of those, again you just see through so much of your deck, you only really need 1 per game I say. Let's just play a machine Digimon with secure attack plus 2, it's gonna have blitz and rush. We have so much memory we can continue our turn, we can swing for 2 checks and then metal tyranno can then swing for game. So I think this game was a good example of how the guard Digimon in Herald can let us cycle through and sort of see our entire deck. And of course, Chaos Dramon being a pretty good addition to the deck, a very powerful level 6. We're going to be starting off with Mako, trying to find those rookies. Uh, no rookie sadly is going to be the cat, so a less than ideal opener for sure. We're going to once again go into the Gardramon. This is really the Gardramon show. See Cyber Dramon, one of the new cyborgs you can give access to. It gives you plus 2 KDP if you have a Tamer suspended, which is pretty nice. And once again, you can see we swing and we just cycle through so many cards with the Gardramon and Herald. We're then going to set up a memory boost to pick up the young Machine Dramon for future plays. Uh, she still doesn't have a rookie, really struggling there. It's going to go into an Andrew Mon, boost the attack minus, and then the Afani Mon to get the heal, maybe eventually find a rookie. So at this point, we are still getting memory from the Kasu. Kind of Digimon in the back, Hagura is still kind of nice. And we're gonna actually just go Machine Dramon in the front and then straight into a Chaos Dramon. So for four, we get to go into a Chaos Dramon. And when you usually Digimon to Machine Dramon, you know you don't have the, the inheritables. But the Chaos effect lets you add them. We can once again de Digivolve the Afani Mon so we don't have to deal with it. Swing at the stack and again cycle through so many cards. Pass turn with another Kasu. And we have the Undeletion Metal Grammar to get a memory. So. We get one memory for that, and just like that, we have completely answered the board, once again having a very very powerful boss monster out, very quickly in this case. Any turn that this guy is not answered, we're going to be getting extra memory from Kasus, drawing and discarding just so, so many cards with double Kasu out at this point. So yeah, we're just swinging, <laughs> it's just actually insane amount of cycle, let's just you know, fill up our trash and again find other machine Draymons. It's actually kind of cool because you cycle through so much that you can have multiple machine Draymons out and they can all have a nice amount of sources. Still have a memory boost to work with as well, Haguru's gonna swing, Pagumon keeps whiffing on me but we still like that guy. Uh, at this point we're gonna connection for again even more cycle. And I think the idea is just to set up another Machine Ramon because that way if she kills the Great One we'll already have a second one in play. And again we have enough Cyborgs in the trash. Don't pass over too much memory. Now we have two huge boss monsters that are very very tough to deal with. So yeah I really do like the new Machine Ramon deck from X3. Let me know in the comment if you guys are playing it, how you guys are building it, do you like it? Do you think you can do well against meta decks? And it even gets better in BT11, we're still getting more Machine Dramon cards. It's pretty cool deck. There's the Andrew Mon for against Secure Attack Minus. Uh, but you know, Fanny Mon and Master Mon are just not really doing enough here. They don't really answer too well. I believe where Machine Dramon is a 13k blocker, so it can always block no matter what. It could save itself even, though, even if there was retaliation or something else like that. 
And these are just two big bodies that are very, very tough to deal with. And they just have very, very strong inheritables on top of that too, right? Like, Kyojimon's gonna be able to attack on Suspended. And again, every turn we're getting extra memory from the Kasus, so much cycle from the Kasu, and again, that Guard Drum on Inheritable has just put in so much work this game. Gonna go into Afani to get the heal. You get our extra memory. At this point, we pretty much have everything we could ever need. We're gonna just swing up the Afani. It is gonna summon the cat. She can get a memory, get the cycle, pick up a rookie, which she was definitely missing, and another level six, which is kind of nice. Machinemon has severe attack minus, but with the Inheritable could still swing and kill the Gatamon, which is kind of nice. And we can again continue our cycle, doing the math, seeing if we can even play another Machinemon potentially. Might be the play, why not? Gonna just play another Kasu and then a little tie. So just memory choke with the Tamers. And at this point, triple Kasu on the board is it's too much, right? It's three free memory a turn. And again, so much drawn cycle that at this point we should see essentially everything we could ever need in our deck. Gonna go Gato in the back for safety. Uh, but again, you know, can't really memory choke us. At this point, I think everybody's free to just swing to another Mako. Potentially pick up some pieces. Look, it's gonna be a Bushi Agumon. Gonna be swinging with the Chaos, get the draw discard, the triple Kasu, the damage. He has so many sources too, like so, so tough to deal with. Uh, at this point, I think the game is pretty much over. Uh, so I think this game is a good example of how, with a new build, you can just get multiple Machine Drummon out. Because as I was saying, sometimes you can answer a Machine Drummon, but answering three is just a little bit too hard, I'd say. So, with the Gato in the back, she has access to plays, but doesn't really have much. Uh, wasn't really able to set up much this entire game, to be honest. Not having a rookie kind of sucked. And uh, it seems like we always just had the perfect answer to the Ophanimon. But that's that's Digimon, right? I still do like the Angel deck, and I wonder how Mastermon will change in BT11 as well. I'll definitely want to experiment with that, so, uh, you know, we'll see what happens there. Gonna go into Angel 1x, giving a guy security attack minus, but I believe some of our stacks have security attack plus, so minus one security doesn't really stop too much. Gonna go into the Mastermon, trash in a Mako. Can then summon from the trash, get Candlemon memories. So, you know, still the Android plays you expect. Except that usually you're doing this in an electronic swing for game or something, but uh, she's just a bit too behind for really anything here. The Mastermon can't even swing because, again, Machinemon is 13k blocker, and if it blocks, we get to restand. So, not really able to get much done. Three Machine Demon <laughs> is just, it's too much. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a good example of Machine Demon doing well, obviously. Android 1X, again, Skill Attack Minus, but it's just not, not gonna be enough. I wonder if the gold Machine Demon will look nice. Because I, I like the Machine Demon Altar, it's very, very nice. What about the gold one? I wonder how rare those guys will be. Like, what are the chances of pulling them? I uh, try to think of any way to stay alive. It's gonna be the blocker Gato. Uh, it does give us quite a bit of memory, but we could swing at it unsuspended, and then everybody else can just swing for game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching.